Hi, welcome to tutorial number seven. In this tutorial, we're just going to cover a very basic health system. It won't be a heads up display yet. This will just be um, deducting a few few points off our character um, when we're hit. So in the last lesson, if I just do a quick recap, we've done it so that our character, when, when, the, when the enemy hits us, there's a sound and an explosion, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we did do it so that our first person character disappeared. Um, I've removed that for now, just, just so that we can see what's going on. So, um, so let's start, let's start the lesson. So, let's escape out of that. The first thing we need to do is, is um, and th there is a big difference today. We're gonna, we're gonna start to mess about in the blueprint of the actual first person very slightly today. So, the first person character is, is us. The enemy is um, the third person character. So, me, so this is this this is the um, first person shooter. So what I need to do is I need to go into my into my blueprints, first person blueprint, blueprints, and then I need to um, just add a variable. And I'm not messing about with any of the movement stuff here. We we will do a lesson where we'll set up a machine gun or something, but we'll mess with this. But for now, I'm just going to set the new variable up. So variables add a variable. I'm calling it player health. And so we've set one up called player health. I'll expand this. Um, player health and integer. So we'll change it to integer because we want it to be a number. I need to set the default value, but I can't do that because I've got please compile. So I compile it and now I can set in a default value of 100 so so our default value for our player is going to be 100 so that's how much his health will start with so with that done i've compiled i can close that i'll do a quick save i close that down and now we're going to go into back into content third person because that's where our enemies are and we've got enemy one okay there he is so as you probably remember from last lesson on component, when when we um, we put a mesh on our player, when that mesh overlaps our first person character, it'll spawn a sound, which is an explosion, and it'll be at our actor's location. It'll spawn the actual graphic of the explosion at our location, but this time we just delay. We delay for one and a half seconds. Nothing else happens. So what we need to do is we need now need to um get the player health variable and start deducting after each hit so if i was to just right click and do set player health it, it won't find it it can't do it because i'm the variable for set player health or player health is in the first person not the third person shooter or character so i need to go to this is the really important one as the first person character so if i go as the first person character i can pinch the variable so I'll do set player health and there it is. So I've now, I'm now able to, to work with the player health within our game. So I'm going to take that down from there. So we got set player health and then, so now we need to add in a, and we now need to add in an integer or number to start from integer minus integer. So number minus number basically and we're gonna we're gonna start with i'm gonna be 25. every time every time we get hit by the enemy it's gonna deduct 25 off of us um and then we need to get the start in health so i'll drag another one down and i will do um so i work again set no, I just need to get player health actually. Get get player health. And there it is. And I'll link that in to into into the zero into it. So the zero goes basically. Um it knows it's a hundred. So as the first person um get get the variable and it's gonna be it's gonna be hundred. 
so it's got rid of the zero because it's pinched it from there. It knows it's a hundred, and it's going to be twenty-five every time. Every time we re re reduce it, um, every time there's a hit, I'm just going to do our print string. So print string, and I'm going to drag it over to here. So rather than that, rather than it look up, it look up the value. That's all I've said there, and so now. When the enemy hits us, it should, I say should, um, it deduct the health from us. So let's compile that. No errors. Let's close it down. Okay, I'm going to click play. So this time, there'll be one and a half seconds, then it'll print the string. I can probably remove that. Okay, it hasn't run it. I'm I've created uh, wrong thing. I've got I've created I've created a um, a routine here, but what I haven't linked it up to anything, so I need to, to link the this up to the to the set. So that's that's now made it all active. I, I didn't do that. So I compile it and I run it now in the work. Each time it hits us, it will deduct 25 off. And now we should go to zeros. Okay, so, th so that was that working. Let's go back. Um, probably we don't need this delay now rather than rather than delete it i'm just going to put in 0.5 so that that should should run a bit that should make it run a bit sweeter um obviously we could have um when the, when the delay gets to zero when it gets down to zero that's when you destroy the character or um that's when that's when we end the game but um that should be the wrong one that should cover us for today with the basic um, health game. Plus, in the, plus, I'll do another quick tutorial in. in a, uh, I think that's it for today. Thank you very much.